The Tesla Cybertruck Foundation Series has officially sold out and is being delivered to its first owners with an estimated 20,000 units shipped in the U.S. The new Cybertruck model is a sensation with three remarkable feature upgrades, a differential lock system, new tires that enhance performance, and the latest FSD. What makes these latest upgrades for the Tesla pickup so compelling? What is Tesla's objective in launching the Cybertruck Foundation series at these updated prices? Finally, Tesla has opened up orders for Cybertruck's Foundation series on its website, meaning buyers no longer need to make a reservation to purchase the launch edition of this electric truck, although the limited edition will only be available for a few more months. This marks a significant moment for the Cybertruck as the model's beginning to be sold more widely and is appearing on more roads across the U.S. Deliveries in Canada and Mexico for the Foundation Series will begin in October. Buyers can now buy the Cybertruck Foundation Series directly from the company's order configurator, with expected delivery between September and December for the dual-motor all-wheel drive version and the tri-motor Cyberbeast. In recent months, there's been some confusion about when Tesla would stop producing the Foundation Series, following rumors in May that the launch option would soon be discontinued. However, Tesla Cybertruck Program Director Sidanda Schwanti responded to these claims, saying that the Cybertruck Foundation Series is actively being produced. Additionally, Musk provided a more definitive statement during Tesla's 2024 shareholder meeting, saying, We will soon conclude the Foundation Series and the non-Foundation Series at some point next quarter. However, following Elon's statement, Tesla quietly changed the wording on the Cybertruck order page to state that they expect to only deliver the Foundation Series until the end of the year, citing high demand for EVs. Tesla has officially launched the Cybertruck in Canada and Mexico, with the company starting to send emails to reservation holders, allowing them to configure their orders. However, the Cybertruck Foundation Series won't come cheap in Canada, with a starting price tag of $137,990. Although the first two deliveries in the U.S. only began earlier this year, Tesla has already delivered 15,000 to 20,000 Foundation Series vehicles. Canadian customers have been patiently waiting for Tesla to start deliveries north of the border, but that couldn't happen until Transport Canada approved the sale of the Cybertruck. According to the latest update from Tesla, they have received a key exemption from Transport Canada and still hope to begin deliveries this year. In an internal email sent to employees Thursday evening, a copy of which was seen by Drive Tesla, the company stated that as of August 8th, they have begun inviting those who order the Cybertruck in Canada and Mexico to purchase the Cyber Beast Foundation Series or the all-wheel Cybertruck. As for pricing, while the email didn't give specific details, some customers have started receiving information, including one of our readers, Sam, and as expected, the prices are not cheap. AWD Cybertrucks priced at $137,990, while the Cyberbeast could cost as much as $165,000. However, with various taxes, including the federal luxury tax, prices will be a bit higher. Depending on where you live after taxes, the cost of the all-wheel drive Cybertruck will be around $165,000 to $175,000, so while the Cyberbeast will go from $200,000 to $220,000. According to multiple reports on X, Buying a Tesla Cybertruck in Canada incurs a 20% luxury tax and a 15% sales tax. Ouch! Tesla Cybertruck will be exempt from the luxury tax due to its gross vehicle weight rating exceeding the luxury tax threshold of 3,856 kilos. The Cybertruck all-wheel drive has a GVWR of 4,159 kilos. At this point, it's unclear whether this is an error on Tesla's part or if the law has changed without updating the website to reflect the changes in minimum GVWR exemptions. If exempt, the overall price would drop by approximately $8,500 for the AWD to $155,000 after taxes and about $11,300 for the Cyberbeast, bringing it down to about $187,000. If the Cybertruck is indeed exempt from the luxury tax, the price would decrease a lot. In fact, a non-foundation series Cybertruck all-wheel drive would be cheaper in Canada than a Model S Long Range or Model X Long Range. Cybertruck Program Director Sidan Ashwanti has confirmed that Tesla is looking into the Canadian luxury tax issue, which needs to be resolved. 
Cybertruck's now available in Mexico for reservation holders, similar to in Canada. Pricing has not yet been confirmed, but it's expected to be in line with the Cybertruck prices in the U.S. and Canada. Mexicans can also rejoice as there's no luxury tax on vehicles in Mexico, so no need to worry about additional fees. So, when will orders for the all-wheel drive model begin? Although Tesla previously mentioned that the Foundation Series would end sometime this year, we anticipate the conclusion will be quite late in the year due to the continued high demand for the Foundation Series. Initially confirmed to end in the third quarter of this year, the date was later updated to by the end of the year. We aren't 100% certain that Tesla is going to stick to that exact date as the Cybertruck's launch has been delayed in Canada and Mexico. You can bet that Tesla will adjust the timeline based on the demand in these two new markets. Either way, once Foundation ends, we can expect demand to spike significantly as the price for Foundation is 20 grand in the US, a substantial amount in both countries. Tesla's offered the Cybertruck Foundation series to early adopters willing to pay a high premium for the base price. This offer is valid during the first year deliveries. Since the first year of Cybertruck deliveries is set to wrap up in November, Tesla's trying to sell as many Foundation versions as possible, which explains why they've opened up the configurator to the public. Tesla has included only the dual-motor AWD and CyberBeast, that's the tri-motor all-wheel drive variants, to the Foundation lineup. The base single-motor rear-wheel drive version of the Cybertruck is expected to start production next year. Have you received the email yet? Did you order at this price? Let us know in the comments below. What new functionalities has Tesla introduced to the latest version of the Cybertruck? Let's start with the first upgrade Tesla introduced for the Cybertruck, the differential lock system. Tesla's Cybertruck was launched about five months ago, but seemed to lack some key features expected in a modern pickup truck. That's about to change with a software update that enables the electric truck's differential lock and other off-road features designed to help owners tackle trail challenges. The new features can be accessed through the new off-road mode, which enhances the handling on rocks, gravel, deep snow, and sand. The differential lock is available on the dual-motor all-wheel drive model. The tri-motor truck has a front differential lock, while the rear virtual differential lock is always in overland mode. The two-motor Cybertruck has one differential lock at the front and one at the rear, while the tri-motor Cyberbeast only has one at the front but can simulate its effect at the rear since it has a motor controlling each wheel. By locking the differential, torque is evenly distributed, forcing both wheels on the axle to rotate at the same speed. This is extremely useful in low traction situations, such as driving on snow, ice, or sand, as well as when the vehicle is traversing rocks and in extreme cross-axle situations. You can engage the differential lock by accessing the off-road screen and choosing from three options, off, all, or rear only. In the Cyberbeast, you can only lock the front differential, while the rear differential lock is automatically simulated in certain modes. The Overland mode provides several driving options and can be customized with its own submodes. The all-purpose setting enhances the vehicle's performance on most surfaces. The Sand mode allows for more sliding and raises the vehicle height to high. Gravel Deep Snow maintains a high suspension level but restricts wheel spin to moderate levels. The rock mode prevents wheel spin and sets the suspension to its maximum height. This mode also uses the air suspension's cross-linking ability to push down on the wheels, improving traction over rocky terrain. The update also integrates hill ascent and descent control, though not all updates are designed to improve off-road capabilities. Tesla has enhanced the truck's load estimation and adapted the suspension system accordingly. The Cybertruck now performs better on slippery surfaces. Additionally, the new Cyber Tent mode adjusts the suspension for sleeping on flat surfaces while keeping lights and power outlets active. Besides, the Baja mode is intended to make Cybertruck feel like a nimble Baja race truck, capable of handling unpaved and uneven surfaces at high speeds. According to Tesla's official video, Baja mode adjusts the handling to simulate a rally car experience on rough terrain, allowing for fine-tuning of handling dynamics. You can adjust the power distribution between the front and rear axles using a slider. Sliding it to the left makes the truck act more like a front-wheel drive vehicle, focusing on safety in low traction conditions. Moving the slider to the right makes it behave more like a rear-wheel drive vehicle, allowing skilled drivers to perform controlled oversteering during cornering. Tesla has also confirmed on X that over-the-air updates will be coming soon. 
You can also select the high regenerative brake setting, allowing for off-road driving with just one pedal. Additionally, there is a trail assist mode, essentially a low speed cruise control for off-road driving at speeds between one and 25 miles an hour. That also functions as hill descent and ascent control. In trail assist, the vehicle no longer detects surrounding objects, so you need to ensure that there are no obstacles in your path and steer clear of any obstacles. The final new feature is the wade mode, which, as the name suggests, is designed to allow the truck to traverse water areas rather than turning the Cybertruck into a boat. This mode may be a distinct setting. When activated, the suspension automatically adjusts to its highest setting and provides a maximum water fording depth of 32 inches measured from the bottom of the tire. This allows the truck to safely cross shallow rivers and streams of no more than 3 miles an hour. The wade mode also pressurizes the battery pack to prevent water ingress. You can use this mode for up to a half hour and the central display will start a countdown when the mode is activated. We wonder what happens if you exceed the allowed time and the truck remains in the water. Will the battery pack's pressure decrease, allowing water and debris to enter? Tesla has launched the latest version of FSD, bringing more advanced autonomous driving capabilities than ever before. They released the new version of FSD Overseed version 12.5 over the last few weeks, although it's only available for vehicles equipped with the newer HW4 computer. While vehicles equipped with HW3 are expected to get it this week, Elon said over the weekend that the team's still working on it. Musk mentioned that the FSD supervisored version for HW3 vehicles will have a different release number compared to version 12.5.1.3, which began rolling out on Friday. HW3, referred to as AI3 after Musk recently called the upcoming vehicle computer AI5, constitutes the majority of Tesla vehicles on the road. For this reason, many HW3 equipped vehicle owners are curious about when they'll get the FSD version 12.5, especially since this version has been rolling out gradually since last month and is expected to include several improvements. Tesla's working day by day, as Musk stated in a Saturday X post. The team's working on it. This will be a different release number. This statement comes nearly two weeks after the company began the wide release of FSD version 12.5.1 and after Musk explained that this new version would be deployed to Model Y units equipped with HW4 before being rolled out more broadly. Musk also mentioned on July 29th that the estimated timeline for Tesla's FSD supervisored V12.5 to reach HW3 vehicles would be around 10 days, meaning it would be rolled out by Thursday if that timeline holds. The Tesla CEO also provided some context on why it's taking longer to bring FSD version 12.5 to HW3 vehicles, along with the inclusion of five times more parameters than the previous version. Considerable software effort is required to optimize the code enough to run on HW3, Musk added. It also needs to be separately validated. Although Cybertruck has HW4, FSD Overseed is still not available in any capacity in the EV, although it's expected to launch with the version 12.5. In an event a few weeks ago, Musk mentioned that FSD would debut on the Cybertruck around August, noting it's difficult to pinpoint the exact date. We all know that Cybertruck is currently the most advanced and expensive vehicle from the electric car manufacturer. Despite this, the fully electric pickup truck has been delivered without advanced driver assistance functions like FSD or autopilot. This has led to a rather unusual situation where the owners of Tesla's most advanced vehicles today can enjoy FSD features that are accessible on the company's most affordable cars. Regarding the estimated timeline for the release of Autopilot and FSD, Elon addressed the concern, though his provided time frame was quite cautious. We must focus on FSD for the other 99% of the fleet. Cybertruck FSD is a few months away, he wrote in a post on X. Considering Elon's typical estimates and the how they tend to face delays, it wouldn't be surprising if Cybertruck gains access to FSD several months after the launch of the Cybercab Robotaxi, which is expected to happen August 8th, before the upcoming vehicle's debut. Tesla will likely focus its resources on training and improving FSD for the Cybercab. To achieve this, Tesla will probably need to gather data from its current fleet, primarily consisting of the S3XY lineup. Elon's announcement regarding the launch of Cybertruck FSD has received mixed reactions from the EV community.
with some suggesting Cybertruck's foundation has now become too expensive. After all, the foundation package cost $20,000, with a significant portion of that being FSD, which was priced at $12,000 when Cybertruck began deliveries. Considering FSD has now dropped to $8,000 and the Advanced Driver Assistance System is still months away from release, today's Cybertruck buyers seem to be getting less than what they paid for. So, what is the third update for the Tesla pickup truck? Another significant update for the Cybertruck is the addition of new tires designed to enhance the performance and off-road capability of this all-electric pickup. It seems Tesla started shipping the updated aerodynamic wheel covers for Cybertruck. The new covers, which closely resemble the original aerodynamic wheel covers, are designed to protect the tires from scratches. Images of the updated aerodynamic wheel covers for the Cybertruck were initially shared on the Cybertruck subreddit. As seen in the photos of the updated components, the new aerodynamic covers do not extend over Cybertruck's tires. This design prevents the covers from scratching the sidewalls of the Cybertruck's tires while the vehicle is in motion. Featuring a sleek seven-spoke design that matches the truck's custom tires, the aerodynamic wheel covers offer benefits. They help increase efficiency at a low cost. The redesign also emphasizes function by reducing the protrusion of the covers. Tesla has minimized tire friction. This not only extends the lifespan of the tires, but also improves the overall driving experience by ensuring smoother wheel rotation and less noise. At a glance, the new covers look almost identical to the old ones. However, comparing them to images of the old covers reveals some subtle differences. The new design has a more recessed center and does not protrude as much as the original design. Notably, the spokes in the new cover are shorter compared to the original. In addition to aesthetic improvements, the redesigned wheel covers are expected to positively impact the Cybertruck's performance. The reduced protrusion likely lowers aerodynamic drag, contributing to improved energy efficiency. For an EV like Cybertruck, any performance enhancement translates into extended range, a key consideration for potential buyers. The updated aerodynamic wheel covers have been positively received on social media, with some noting that they truly complete the Cybertruck's look. While the Cybertruck's bare wheels give the vehicle a rugged appearance, the aerodynamic covers ultimately lend the all-electric pickup a highly futuristic look. Cybertruck is designed to look as futuristic as possible, and this extends to its wheels, which resemble something straight out of a sci-fi movie. This is partly due to the Cybertruck's aerodynamic wheel covers, which look like they won't be out of place on a self-driving vehicle on Mars. The original aerodynamic wheel covers for Cybertruck extended beyond the wheel and onto the tire sidewall. This meant that as the Cybertruck's tires moved, the part of the cover extending onto the sidewall would come into contact with the tire side. This could lead to unnecessary tire wear and potential safety issues in the future. Therefore, until Tesla could release an updated version of Cybertruck's aerodynamic covers, the all-electric pickup was delivered with bare wheels. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit that notification bell icon and stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are highly appreciated. Thanks so much for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care, stay safe, and God bless.